Hey guys, so I'm finally ready to do the full tour of my couple's camper and I really do believe this is my best build yet. Uh, I kind of feel that way after every build and this is no exception. This, this is my best build and uh, it's going to be my final build on this Sienna. It, it really is. I, I think it's perfect. Uh, perfect for me. Uh, everyone's a little bit different, but for me, this this camper is perfect the way I made the couple's camper. Even though I'm not going to be camping as a couple uh, too often. <laughs> uh, I'll be camping with my sons or something, two people, but not a couple. But anyways, today we're going to do a full tour of everything. So, you know, lace up your hiking shoes because we're going for a full walk around. All right, so the first part of this couple's uh, camper is the centerpiece is that it has to sleep two people you know you could travel with two but you have to sleep with two so I designed this bed to accommodate two people uh, comfortably and at the same time you know still have room to relax and you know you could see the layout it's a nice sofa um, I could watch a movie or something like that you know put an iPad right there and watch a movie or whatnot but uh, you know, everything started around this bed. You know, this couple's camper started around this bed. Well, like everything in this video, I, I have a video that will show the more the details of the build of things. So you can click the playlist at the bottom uh, if you want to see the full uh, build, how I did everything. But uh, today we're just going to demo. So we're not going to show you how I built anything. So this bed, I'll just pull out. And from here, you want to click it so it releases. All right, so now you can lay it flat. So you can see the way I made it, you could still move around, slide in and out, even with the bed down. I did not want to make a big bed that went flush. That way you would have to crawl around to get anywhere. But this way you don't have to crawl around. You could just slide in and out. And now you have a pretty comfortable bed that sleeps too. Another nice thing about this bed is that I have this little wing foam area right here so that uh, this person could sleep all the way over. So you could have your full arms over here to give yourself a little bit extra more space. So even though it's a twin bed, it's actually a twin plus. I have a little bit of extra space and you can see I'm not dangling over the edge or anything like that. I can actually comfortably sleep with, you know, a portion of my body o over the mattress. All right, to fold the bed back up, it's pretty simple. You do the exact opposite. You click it up and you just slide everything back. And that's it. Of course, you could do it from the inside too, but it's even easier on the outside. So while we're here in this portion, let me show you. I built this, this shelf to have this sitting area, this shoulder area for the bed. But in addition, there's some space down here that I did not want to waste. So I made it into a little storage shelf where I have you know, my bug spray and suntan spray, sunblock, walkie-talkies and little things like that. Uh, let me show you. So surprisingly, it holds quite a bit of stuff. You know, I have my air compressor in case I go a little off-roading. I have to deflate and inflate the tires, some camping pots. I got, you know, my water filter back there. Emergency jacket. So continuing with the bed, what I did was I built some storage underneath the bed and I wanted to make it as small as possible that I could get away with. And it's not just storage, it's my kitchen, kitchen pullout. So it pulls out and it rests like this. So here I have, you know, two burners, my cutting board, spice rack. I turned the camera around for you guys to see. So I got my two burners, you know, I got my forks and knives and things like that, bowls, plates under here, some pots. I have this grill right here that goes right here. So instead of having a barbecue grill, I'll just grill right here. Foil just to clean a lot easier. Pans, you know, I got a little slot built for that pan. Some wipes, oil spray, matches. So, you know, this actually holds a ton of stuff, right? much more than you think, but I had to make sure it's as flat as possible that I could get away with so that, you know, my, my sofa bed would not be too high. So I had plenty of headspace. 
So in addition to sitting very well like this, I also made these legs. If you saw, I pulled it out earlier. I just put on these wing nuts to get the legs on. And what that allows me to do is to pull my cooking area out even further. So now, you know, I, my cooking could be a little bit away. And now you're wondering, hey, what about that sink? Now you've pulled yourself further away from the sink. Let me show you what I did with this sink. So I gave myself the option of pulling the sink out too. So now I have my sink here where it's very accessible for when I cook. All right, taking a closer look at that sink. So what I have is I have this for sponges and things like that. Cup, but also in the bottom here, I have this this rack here. It's really just a normally a, a drying rack, and you could actually even do it like that if you want to dry things on here. But what's nice is that uh, while I have it here, I could just wash my hands and still have. There's stuff inside the sink that I'm not afraid is that's going to get all wet or anything like that because the water is all underneath it. So it's just kind of like your kitchen sink. So on this side, you know, I got a cup holder, which is important if you're going to cook. You're going to need something to, to hold your cups and your drinks. And I, I got a bottle opener here, which is also important for some Miller time. Anyways, I'm really happy with how much stuff I was able to put in there and how little space it occupied in storage. So if you look at all this stuff I have, you know, everything fits underneath that little slot. So that's awesome. Let's put it all away. Nice and neat. So we'll talk a little bit more about my bathroom area back here in a little bit, but we're gonna finish up with this bed and the things I built into the bed. So let's come around the other side. So on this side of the sofa, what I had is, uh, you, you, you saw the drawer, it, it does slide underneath really well, but I left a little bit of a space and that I wanted to leave space for just a junk drawer so that I could have you know all my wires and cables and extra fuel, game, burners, and things like that. Just extra junk, so it, it, it's actually really handy. It's very accessible. I can access this stuff while I'm in the front seat or while I'm back here, you know. Uh, the things in, in that pull-out drawer, if I wanna get this stuff deep inside, you know, I gotta park, get out, open up the thing, but this, you know, it's very nice storage. And the nice thing is that it doesn't just stop there. It slides to the other side. So here I am on the other side and that same drawer pulls out on this side too. So when I'm outside the car and I wanna access some of this stuff, I don't have to walk around to the other side or anything like that. I can access it from this side too, which works out great. So next stop on our tour is my counter. Now I, I wanted to make sure because this is a couple's camper that there's plenty of leg room to walk around, well, not walk. <laughs> Uh, to move around and, and be comfortable, you know. I, I just didn't want to make a, a area where you just sleep and store crap. I want it to be more functional than that. So um, I built this cabinet and I raised it all up so that your feet can have maximum space. I did not want to uh, build a cabinet straight down and take up that space. So what I have here is, you know, just some plastic drawers that I built. These are just sterilite drawers. Again, with, with everything that I, I have, I'm gonna leave a link uh, in the description if you wanna you know, build something similar, you, you like something and you could incorporate it in your build. Fantastic, I'll leave a link on everything. But so this cabinet, uh, I, I, I built it uh, with inside this cup holder as the mount for it. And uh, you can see it's very streamlined. It's very, very compact. There's some storage here some storage here. I have my coffee maker, uh, this 
towel holder that I do because you know I don't want to drive with this it's gonna shake and it's all gonna fall at the end I got my rice cooker and I still have you know counter space to put other stuff I just I have room for more stuff so let's take a closer look so you guys could see I built this microwave into this this countertop and uh, I built the structure around it so it fits perfectly uh, there's a stopper right here so no it does not slide out Th this thing does stop it from going anywhere it's very secure it's not going anywhere uh, here I have storage for my I have a grill there waffle maker cups fuel uh, stove and let, I'm gonna show you that in a second but again I got more storage space here down here I got my plugs so for if I want to plug in the microwave I don't want to leave it plugged in all the time plug for the microwave coffee maker whatever the case some USB ports also so that's a really handy spot for those things over here I have this extension that I could just click up like that and I have an additional space on my counter let's take a look at the full thing so, you know, when I have that up, you can see I have a lot of counter space. But let me show you if I do want to cook in here, how I'll be able to do that also. So I, I do have this camping butane and this burner right here. I could use it as my burner and I could cook something right here. I could uh, make some soup or whatever the case if I want to cook inside the car. Everything packs away nice and neat. Over here, I have something that's common to a lot of my Sienna builds is this pantry cabinet here. I, I really liked it so much, I did not want to get rid of it at all. You know, I have a light switch there if I need to, but you know, I take out my hat for now. But let's take a look. So you could see this, this pantry holds a lot of stuff. And again, I, I still have a little bit more stuff to pile things up there it's held by in by a magnet so everything's nice and secure it doesn't go anywhere um, so it's suspended in the window you can take a look at it I built it in the window slot uh, it's suspended by here and there's a seat belt buckle um, bolt that I have over there too I got my uh, temperature another light switch and a uh, carbon monoxide detector Again, this is fantastic. I really love this cubby. One last thing to mention is I have a coat hanger right here so I could hang my jacket when I come in, relax. So here on the other side of the cabinet, I, I got my curtains. I'll show you the curtains later, but uh, let me show you what it looks like back here. So basically you can see the microwave, but here is my battery, my lithium ion phosphate battery. So you could see the battery is built underneath the cabinet. So it's, it's hidden on the other side, but it's exposed on this side if I need to do any kind of maintenance to it. Comes over here and my power inverter is here underneath my chair, nice and neat. It's, uh, it's recessed from the floor. So there's all my power. Uh, I have my charge controller here. Um, there's plug outlets on this side, and I also have a, a small battery packet that if I want to, you know, uh, take it outside or something like that. So that's really nice, real convenient. This side, I, I built this switch to go with everything so that I could switch my fridge between the lithium battery or the car battery. I could... Um, solar charge the car battery or I could use an alternator to charge my lithium battery or I could use solar chargers so you know I built this switch so that it's very flexible as to how I want to charge if I'm running at night time and I don't have any daylight to charge my batteries I'll just change it to alternator all right so you saw the lithium battery and the power uh, setup that I have but here I have the solar panels on top of my roof all right, I also have a water container for an outdoor shower. It is painted black. So let, let me show you guys those things. So up here, I have my solar panel and it only covers half on purpose like that. So what I could do, a couple options. I have a latch there. So if I want to tilt it so that I could get more sun at certain times of the day, I could do that. But it actually works really nice as a lid to hold in my gear a little bit better. So that's also really nice. 
Um, this is a fence post, a vinyl fence post that I made into my shower. Um, so let, let me show you that next. Water, I just have this thing. You just fill in water. I'm not gonna fill it up completely. You cap it up and you're good to go. Here I have this uh, air valve. So it's just for air. So when, um, when I'm driving, uh, that'll be closed. But when I use it, I need to open up the valve so that there'll be airflow and it comes out over here. And let's uh, go down and check that out. So here in the, my storage area, I have this right here and I'm gonna use this for my outdoor shower. So uh, I just rigged this nozzle to this tube. Just click that in like that and I have shower nozzle, just gonna open that up. And you can see you have a outdoor shower, solar outdoor shower, because it's, it's painted black, so it's gonna absorb some heat. So this is one way to shower. I actually have two ways to shower. The, the easy one is outside, you know, no problem. Uh, but inside, I also have a shower. Okay, so back here I have my bathroom area. And yes, I call it a bathroom area because it functions like my bathroom. So I put everything in these trays so I can remove it really easily. So that's gonna expose my bath basin. Here I have this, it's just held up by a, a little push, push, pop, open thing. Uh, so I, I drive with it closed so that exhaust or things don't come in. But if I'm ready to take a shower, I'll pop it open. So next is I have my shower curtains that I put right here, just on the edge. And let's install those. Okay, so this is half of the shower curtain. I just hooked everything up. I bungeed uh, from one hook to an arm grab bar to the other. And I have another line that comes over here. It's hooked here for now, but it's normally hooked up to this part over here when the door is closed. You're not gonna shower indoors with this door closed, uh, open. Uh, so that's the half of it. Let me show you the other half. We'll have to do that from the inside. All right, so I just pulled the shower curtain back so that we could see the other side. So from the other side is my second half of the shower curtain. And this just uses real easy Velcro. And you see I have a Velcro strip right there. Okay, so that's the other side of the curtains. And you already saw this side pulled out. And here is the basin. Okay, so now how am I gonna take a shower? I'm gonna sit. So on this side, I have this, this stool. Sit here and you take your shower. Have you already seen this? And you're nice and comfortable. Let me show you on the other side what I'm going to use for water. Okay, so back over here, what I have is this Sun Joe sprayer and this is my shower water dispenser and it fits perfect. Take out my axe for a second. But fits perfect in the slot. It was just kind of dumb luck, but contours for the, the handle perfectly for that. But this is USB battery powered. So once the water primes, it'll shut off when you, you're not pushing the button. So you can see that you're able to take a shower pretty easily. You know, I can shoot everything. All the water is going to funnel down to the outside. So that's going to be great. Uh, it, gives, it's a, it saves a lot of water the way this thing dispenses. It, it's, it's not a mist. It's a little stronger than a mist, but it does a great job. Okay, so now that you're done with your shower, sometimes you're not on level ground. So what I have here is a little squeegee. So you could just squeegee the water into the drain if you're not on level ground. So that just goes right there, real nice and neat. Another nice thing about storing everything on these baskets 
in addition to easily clearing your shower tub, is that even if it's a little moist here, it's okay. You just put it down, everything's gonna still stay dry because it's slightly elevated. And you're back to normal. Okay, so continuing my bathroom area, you know, you just saw me put everything back, but I'm gonna clear out my bathroom area again. Okay, so again, I'm back to my bathroom area, get my stool. stool. So here in the morning, if you wanna put on your contacts or something like that, brush your teeth, of course, uh, you could do that all right here. You know, there's a mirror right here. Uh, got the water dispenser. So the water dispenser is, I use this, this, um, it's a water bottle dispenser, you know, uh, but it works great as a faucet. So it does a fantastic job. It's rechargeable. I don't have to worry about wires or anything like that. I can get the water from here, no problem. It has plenty of water that I need. Over here, you know, I, I have, I have some, you know, kitchen supplies, but over here, of course, it's a couple's camper, so I need his and hers. That's kind of gross using somebody else's. Anyways, we're not going to talk about that anymore. All right, so another thing you can do when you don't need to sit down there is, you know, if you're a him, you might need something to, uh, you know, kneel down on to do what you got to do if you're inside this car um, so if you're a, a her I have an option for you also so in here what I have is the top and here on the side I have the wall and yes I'll leave a link to this too if you're interested in this but basically stick that in there and you do what you gotta do. Uh, yes, there is option for number two. I never planned to use this option. I just wanted to have it just for fun, but I never planned to use number two in the car. But if you want to, you can. But anyways, I'll leave a link in this. Okay, so as you guys see, you know, my tub is shower basin is also used as a storage area when it's not being used as a shower. You know, I got my chairs and camping table, uh, a wool blanket in case it gets extra cold. And of course, you know, I just showed you guys my portable toilet, which I never want to use. Anyway, so that packs away really nice and neat in this back area over here. Here I have my toolbox area. And you know, I'm gonna keep a, a power drill in there, and um, this I'll show you in a second. But, you know, shovels, screwdrivers, lighters, nozzle. But um, let me put this back. So, but this is also a rechargeable sprayer, and what I can do is I could go like that and plug it in so if you want a low pressure water sprayer you know this will work as a low pressure water sprayer it's not, nothing powerful you can't wash a car with it or anything like that but another nice thing about having this tube right here is let me show you I could use this and I could use it to refill my tanks in my car with the water that I keep up here all right let's go fill it up good refill my water uh, reservoir here so if i need more water i could take some water from up there and of course if i want warmer shower water i can do the same and just add water through this tube so that works out very nicely to give me some extra water storage that i don't have to store in the car and these things pack pretty nicely away in my toolbox yeah shove it all in there and you see I also have right here I got a knife but I also have another paper towel dispenser and this one's a foldable one so when I'm not used it's out of the way I'm gonna fold it up and grab my paper towel and when I'm cooking back here 
I can't crawl into there and get the, a paper towel. So I keep the paper, paper towel here when I'm back here cooking. So again, there's some extra storage here that I have for miscellaneous stuff. Some pot uh, holder things. This is nice because I could also use it as a, when I have to hold something hot, I could use this and just fold it over in addition to you know, having a pad for a, you know, putting a hot pan down on so if I'm on the counter or something over there. So that, that has a double usage, that's nice. Got a, another small pot right there and a, and a rechargeable flashlight. Let's look at that plumbing that I have for this sink. It comes down here and I want it to wrap it around so it tucks away nice and neat. It comes down there and exits the car right there. That works out very nicely. In the sink, there's also a cap too. So when I wanna, when I'm driving, you know, I, I can cap it so fumes don't get in. So up here in the front of the car, I did some modifications. I took out that center console right here and I put a refrigerator here. So this refrigerator works as, you know, my armrests, but you know, of course there's not that armrest too. But anyways, I'm able to access my drinks up here. Uh, it fits nice and neat. Uh, so that, that, that actually works out really, really well because, you know, the refrigerator takes up a lot of space back there. So if I'm able to put it up here, you know, fantastic. So let me show you what else I have going on here. All right, so you see there's still some storage room that I have. I have a tray basket for a little extra storage uh, down there. And there's my refrigerator. But up here, so what I have is this CarPlay. And you know, this is an older van, so the, the navigation sucks on this van. So I have CarPlay on this van, uh, my phone holder. So, you know, CarPlay will have active GPS so that, you know, it, it, it's aware of traffic, basically. You know, my regular GPS does not. It's not aware of traffic. My CarPlay uses my phone's navigation, so that's great. All right, next up are these curtains. So I'm gonna show you how I could go into privacy or stealth mode with these curtains. Uh, this one right here is pretty easy. It just hooks up right there and covers Inside up. Inside here, these curtains are just held up by little ropes that I tied right there. So you have two options. You could go in front of the chair or around the chair. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go on the front side of it. So from here I got this hairpin that I leave here. You just pin it in nice and secure. And there you have your privacy curtains. It's very very nice. If you want to go stealth mode, you will have to um, put a, a little bit of a towel or something to cover up the holes and things like that. Let's go to this side. This side, I also have a bar here, so this is real nice and easy too. You just slide it over. And uh, so if I do want to go full stealth, I will take one of those pins and just clip it in for a little bit of extra privacy. And of course, again, you're gonna to have to fill up this gap. Over here for this side window, what I have is this guy right here. And I, this is just Velcro, but let me open it up for you. So there's a rod right here and I use this hook that's normally for this guy right here. And there I'm able to just wait kind of squish everything in and it works out perfectly. Let's go over here now. All right, so here I have these curtains and these are also held down with rope ties, hairpin again. These just go across. Again, if you want to hold it in, you can use the, the hairpin. If not, you could just leave it like that. So now, I'm in full privacy mode. Nobody knows I'm in here. All right, so let's put everything back. And you see right here, what I have tied to the back of the chair is a hamper. So you can put your clothes in here and it's nice and out of the way. This actually worked out really well. On a trip where my clothes were a little bit dirty, I knew I wanted to keep it away from me. I, that's what I thought about this, uh, this hamper on the back of the chair. So that's, that's working out great. Yeah, nice and out of the way. 
So that's the full van tour and I am absolutely done. I'm not gonna do any more builds in this minivan. Uh, next up, I got a Ford Maverick that I really need to start building out. It's been calling my name. So for now, it's Miller time.